it's nikki and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new and in today's video as you can tell by the title we are going to be doing this pearl eyeliner look i'm absolutely obsessed and i wanted to record it because i was like maybe it'll come out good maybe it won't but at least i tried and it came out good so i'm really happy about it and anybody can do this look so if you guys want to see how i got this look how easy it was and how fast surprisingly fast it took me then please keep watching so to start off today's look, I'm going to be using the Morphe 35S Sweet Oasis palette. Absolutely love it. It's so pretty and I haven't used it yet. So here's her in all of her beauty and glory. Um, so I'm basically going to be packing a lot of like pinks on my eyes. So I think I'm going to be going into the shade Love Struck and I'm going to just take this flat brush. And I'm just going to pack it kind of literally all over. I know it's kind of going to be like a pale pink, but I'm going to build it up to be a little bit deeper. But it's so pretty. Fallout, but if palette, if like a shadow is pigmented, like, I don't mind, you know? This palette is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyways. So I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to go into the shade Hibiscus Blossoms, which is more of like a purpley undertone purple, but it's a bit deeper. Kind of put that on top. Okay, so I kind of want to like add a deeper shade to the outer corner. So I'm going to take this Sabella. It's a double ended brush. I'm going to take the smaller side. I'm going to take Picture Perfect, which is like this nice purple, and I'm going to kind of just make it into a V-shape almost, and then blend it out with the other side of the brush like so. Like, I don't want it to be too noticeable, but at the same time noticeable. Does that make sense? I just realized you guys weren't zoomed in, so... I think I'm going to just take this color kind of all over. Yeah, I think I'm going to take Picture Perfect all over to make it a bit of a deeper, like, pinky. But start with the outer corner to make the outer corner, like, the deepest. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to use the same flat brush that I've been using because I think it's the best brush to use for this look. And I am bringing that up to the brow bone just because. Oh, this is so pretty even on its own. Oh, wow. But I just really want to have a nice pretty pink base for our pearls. I really did want to do like my face makeup first. I just realized, but it's fine. So we have the eyeshadow laid down. I think I'm going to keep it this color. I'm going to move on to the face. So I'm going to prime with my e.l.f. Pearl Cutty Primer. Then we're going to move into foundation. So for foundation today, I'm going to use the Ulta Beauty Velvet Matte Full Coverage Foundation in the shade Medium Neutral. I absolutely love this foundation. It is a little too deep for me, so I'm going to use like a tiny dot. And then I'm going to mix in my CoverGirl True Blend Foundation in shade L10 to kind of, you know, make it a little lighter. Oh, not the pump not working. Oh, that's cute. That's awesome for me. I'm going to have to open it. <laughs> I'm gonna use this like Sonia Kashuk brush. I'm gonna like mix them and apply it to the skin. I'm actually gonna use my beauty blender because a brush be taking too long. I really do love the Ulta Beauty foundation though. It's so good. It's so full coverage and I love like the finish of it. I just have to get my right shade. <laughs> Like that look 
looks good, but normally on its own, like, it looks terrible. Like, it's, like, too deep. So I'm going to go in with my concealer. And if you guys watch me, you know the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Love it. I'm using the shade Medium Sand. I'm going to apply it to the places where I highlight. I'm going to take my time with my makeup today, you know? take my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in shade Light Medium 20. I'm going to take that same beauty blender and I'm going to just kind of really press that in underneath the eyes. I'm going to take my Beauty Bakery Neapolitan Bar Palette and I'm going to use the contour shade. This one is really deep for me so I have to kind of be careful. I'm going to use this e.l.f. powder brush and I kind of just like, I don't know, build it up. Because if I put too much it's going to be like too deep and it doesn't look like correct. So, just lightly feathering it, you know. I love like a good contour or bronzer like I really love bringing the warmth back into my face like even when like I have like a no makeup day and I put like foundation and then like just some bronzer like I just like looking like I have some warmth and not like I'm like washed out and not tanned even though that's me right now so I have to go find tweezers because I realized I didn't have any near me and I need them for the next step okay so I have these self adhesive pearls from Walmart. I have my Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive that is disgusting. And I have tweezers. So I'm going to basically be applying pearls. I don't know how many pearls per eye, but I guess what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off by just kind of dotting the lash glue on. Um, I like to use self adhesive rhinestones or pearls whatever because it's easier to kind of stick onto like the glue um but that's just my personal preference i mean i think it's smart i don't know but i'm gonna just create i don't really know how i want to do it you know I actually kind of have an idea. Let me stop flagging. Okay, so I don't even know how to use tweezers when it comes to this, but I guess I'll figure it out today. So we're just going to stick it on. Like so. That one's big. I'm going to go for like smaller ones now. I'm going to kind of do them in the shape of like a thick winged liner I think you know I don't know I guess yeah I think Oh, I should be grabbing it probably with like the sharper end. I guess that's smart, right?
Okay, so it kind of looks like a pearl liner, which is crazy because that's what I originally wanted to do, but I didn't think I was capable. So the lesson here is don't doubt yourself. Um, I'm going to do the next eye, but that's kind of what I'm basically doing. As you can see, I'm going to move on to the next eye. What I think I'm going to do for this eye, because I see where I kind of put everything, I'm going to lay the lash glue down as if it's a winged liner because, well kind of you know so i have one two three four five six seven eight so i'm gonna kind of like i know where to place the glue now one two three and then i did like four and then five six seven eight something like that I okay hang on i did this high all wrong so i'm gonna take them off because i feel like i messed it up a little bit like I did it too far down. See, we make mistakes, people. It's okay. They come. Anyway, so I'm going to go a little more up, like towards the tail of my brow more with the first one because I feel like that's where it needs to be for this eye. So that's what I'm going to do instead. Yes, that gives me more space to kind of create um, kind of what I want. Okay, they're cousins, not even, not they're distant cousins, but it's okay. So I wanted to add lashes, but I don't think I really wanted to, especially with this look, cause like, I mean, I think it looked pretty, but at the same time, some pearls are literally on my lash line. So next, what I wanna do is apply some white liner. So I'm gonna use this NYX, professional makeup retractable liner it's in white i assume that's a shade name if not let's see it's in white who would have guessed i'm gonna apply that into my lower lash line or waterline i don't know i just really really love white liner and then I'm gonna apply my Lancome Lashy Doll Mascara. Ah! I can't believe I, <sighs> okay, don't speak too soon, cause, okay. But I think I do wanna go into some highlight today just cause you know, we might as well doing a pearl. So I wanna go into my Artist Couture Jackiana um, Diamond Glow Powder in La Peach. Beautiful shade, beautiful, beautiful. At the same time, I already did, so. But look at that, like that's so pretty. Like, I need to get more Artist Couture highlight or glow powders because they're really freaking good like gonna do it on the bridge of my nose and the tip cupid's bow chin and a little bit on the forehead i'm gonna you better save this excess so i'll put it back into the thing and we put her away i'm gonna go into my lips so i'm gonna use my elf retro paradise lip liner you could tell i love it it's the deepest shade in the kit i wish they sold i was gonna say sold i wish they sold this liner separately because it's such just like a pretty shade for like my favorite ombre like this is my favorite brown to use but i guess when i run out that's it how annoying is that you know what yeah you finally find a liner that you like, the formula, the color, everything. And then it's just like, we're going to sell it in a bundle with other shades that you don't use, even though you're going to use them today. But like, girl. As you can tell, this is a debate that I've been having with myself for a very long time. So don't mind me. Oh my God, I'm getting my clothes like all makeup. That's pretty. 
at least you know I'm into it. So I'm going to take one of the nude shades from the Ref Retro Paradise um, Liner Kit thing. Yeah, kit. And I'm going to add that into the center. It's like pinky. Throw baby. So that's pretty, but I normally like for something a little more nude. I don't know. So I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. camo concealer. Y'all know the weird stuff I do. But it makes for a really good shade. So like, is it really weird? I mean, yeah, I guess it's still weird. Anyways. I really thought that this was going to take me forever and it took me like 30 minutes. I guess I have to start stop downing myself, huh? I'm gonna take this excess on that brush that I used for the shadow and kind of drag it on the waterline because I want to smoke it out and sometimes with the white I feel like it washes out like the look a little bit too much in my opinion. Sometimes. Not all the time, but like so I just wanna smoke it out nicely and kind of like tie it all in. Oh my god. And then I'm gonna add my I love Set EX ColourPop um ultra lip glossy lip and shade curvy in the center of my lips pretty perfect like nude gloss shade And that is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. I'm absolutely obsessed. So if you guys want to see more looks like this, let me know down below because I would love to test like my creative ability. So let me know. Bye.